Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com, and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And for this reading, I'm using one of my favorite decks of all time, the Crystal Visions Tarot. Okay, so I'm going to start by drawing three cards. Each card is going to represent a segment of the upcoming week. And before I get into the reading, I just want to let you know that I'm doing a survey um, of all my uh, blog readers and video audience to see kind of what kind of videos and what kind of blog posts and stuff and e-courses that you'd be interested in over the next year or so. So if you want to take my survey, um, I'm going to put a link to it uh, just in the description below my video and I would be forever grateful if you filled it out. Okay, thanks in advance. Okay, so um, let's start with the first card. Okay, we have the world. Oh, I love this card, especially in this deck. And if you hear a bunch of noise in the background, it's my new kitten, Merlina. I'll show you. She's just chewing on a box. She's being very frisky this morning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully she won't be too distracting. <laughs> okay, so we've got... Um, oops, just got to adjust my camera. We've got the world, and the world is... Uh, the world is about things kind of coming together. It's about opportunities. It's basically the card that comes up when the door is wide open and there's all kinds of opportunities around you and you may or may not be aware of that. So it's important to consider that and to remember that. And I feel like there's a huge potential at the beginning of the week to really um, bridge some gaps and connect with people and reach out to people and maybe heal some old wounds and um, really see eye to eye and perhaps even find common ground with people who, um, you know, up until this point, you maybe hadn't had com found common ground with. So people that you're struggling to kind of see eye to eye with. And um, I'm getting a few ideas when I'm looking at this card. Um, one thing I'm getting is that it could mean travel for some of us. And I say that because I'm looking at the picture of the globe and that whole theme of, um, uh, that whole theme that the world is smaller than we think and um, that we're all connected in some way, whether we realize it or not. And um, I'm gonna come back to this card because I feel like it's full of stuff. Um, I'm getting like an enlightenment kind of meditation vibe. I feel like there's more to be said about this card, but I want to move on to the next card. And the next card represents Wednesday and Thursday, so the middle of the week. And here we've got Four of Swords. And Four of Swords is a very opposite energy to the world because while the world is about being open and, and receptive, that's the word I was looking for, um, the world card is very receptive. Um, so the beginning of the week is a good time to be, you know, to have open arms, to be receptive and non-judgmental and um, be able to receive. Whereas the Four of Swords has a different energy. This is more of a um, an inward kind of energy. It's about going into yourself and actually kind of closing yourself off, not because you're like cold hearted or anything like that, but closing yourself off so that you can journey inward. Because if you're open and receptive, um, that's more about interacting with the external world and, and those around you, whereas the Four of Swords is about um, turning inward and um, and exploring yourself a little bit more and and, um, and going within. So the Four of Swords, oh God, <laughs> my silly kitty, sorry about that. <laughs> she has no manners whatsoever. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't flop down right in front of the camera. Um, so the Four of Swords, similar to the world, is about meditation and, um, you know, feeling grounded and connected. But whereas the world is about feeling connected to the world and those around you and nature and, and things like that, the Four of Swords is about connecting with yourself and getting that sense of calm that comes from turning inward and, and meditation. So the middle of the week, it's not the best time to be extroverted. So um, it's a good time to schedule alone time, um, 
you know, that kind of a thing. Whereas the beginning of the week is a time to be more extroverted. Okay, so here we have the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands, it's interesting how each card in this reading is actually very unique, very, very different looking, very different energies actually, um, which makes for a really dynamic kind of week. So the Five of Wands is about competition and um, and there's a lot of so there's a lot of energy here towards the end of the week. So on the weekend, you know, don't be surprised if you kind of clash with um, a few people in your inner circle, so close friends and family. Um, not in like a, a really horrible way, it's more like everyone has a different idea of how things should be. This could, especially true if you're like planning something like a party or an outing or a wedding or <laughs> something like that. It's like a lot of different people have different ideas of how things should be and what they're wanting. So really the key here um, to avoid any like serious kind of conflict is to, um, first of all, you've done the work in the middle of the week. If you've, if you've done the work and getting grounded within yourself and here at the beginning of the week, you've kind of done some work um, um, being grounded within the world and connecting with others. And when you combine those two traits, the ability to kind of like connect with others and communicate and the ability to connect with yourself and hear yourself, um, then it's going to be easier to navigate um, any kinds of um, personality clashes or, you know, differences of opinion and um, competing interests and things like that. If you haven't done that work, um, if so, if you've kind of ignored um, all this stuff and, and didn't really spend too much time, um, you know, going within and, and all that kind of stuff, then, then this could be more intense. It could just be a little bit more conflict than, than had you done the work. And, oh gosh, silly girl. She's really frisky this morning. Um, so yeah, so I wanna, I'm gonna zoom out. I wanna look at all three cards together and see if I'm noticing any similarities here. And I feel like there's a lot of self-work being done for most of the week, but when we get to the weekend, um, your role isn't so much about self-healing or, or working on yourself or anything like that. Your role more is to um, play your part in helping things flow harmoniously around you. So your role within your family or your social circle or work or whatever is to be the person who kind of is smoothing things over and helping things run more smoothly. Um, so this could be like, you might be like, find yourself as like a mediator. <laughs> um, and you know, skills like nonviolent communication, uh, listening skills, all that kind of stuff is like really important and really powerful here. And I'm just looking to see if I'm noticing anything else. Um, oh, I do notice a theme. There's two, uh, there's two wands crossed and there's two swords crossed here. Um, Interesting, we've got a four followed by a five. That's kind of an interesting thing as well. I think that just shows like a natural progression during the week, um, you know, building on skills that you've learned. And I'm not sure what the crossing swords and the crossing wands means. That might be an interesting thing to explore further. So I'm gonna turn it over to you. If you have any insights or ideas on what those crossed, what that symbol is, that repeated X, that cross, um, please feel free to share in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So this has been your weekly tarot card reading. My name is Kate. I'm from dailytarotworld.com and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it enjoyable and helpful. And if you want to check out my site, dailytarotworld.com, I've got um, all kinds of fun stuff there. I've got tarot deck reviews, I've got uh, tarot quizzes, exercises, and um, video tutorials, all kinds of good stuff. Oh, and there's Merlina. So, ooh, <laughs> she's saying goodbye. Okay, <laughs> thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.